The longer you wait, the more expensive homes will come. Dallas, I want to purchase a home, but how can I deal with the higher interest rates? Many clients have reached out to me and asked me this question recently. In case you don't know, the Federal Reserve recently raised rates by 75 basis points, the largest increase since 1994. Mortgage rates have already responded and they are likely to increase further throughout the year. Rates are still low historically, but there are no denying that recent increase increases make it more difficult to purchase a home. If you're looking to buy, what can you do? Fortunately, there are tons of creative ways to adjust your strategy and prepare for higher rates. And I want to share three of them with you today. So the first thing is improve your credit. You may think that your credit score is already good as you can be, but there is always room for improvement. Start by paying off your debt little by little. This will lower your debt to income ratio. It's what lenders use to determine your credit worthiness. You can also save up for a bigger down payment to improve your credit and lower your rate. The results may seem small, but even a tiny difference can add up to a huge amount over the course of your loan. The next thing is, is to lock in your mortgage rate. When it makes, if your lender is offering you a good rate, consider locking it in. Rates are expected to continue rising to combat inflation, but you won't have to worry about it if your rate is locked in. Just remember that, you know, it only makes sense to lock in your rate when you're almost closing. Most rates only stay locked in for one or two months. So like if you're buying a new construction loan, they are actually locking rates way ahead of time so that you can buy your new house. The next thing is pay mortgage points at closing, also known as discount points. Mortgage points are fees you can pay to lower your interest rate. One point typically costs 1% of your loan. So you point on a $200,000 mortgage would cost you $2,000. A nice perk of uh, mortgage points is that they might be tax deductible and if you can deduct your mortgage interest, chances are you can deduct the cost of your mortgage points as well. The truth is, uh, it's still a great time to purchase a home. When the last Fed hike uh, this large happened in 1994, rates were at 8%. So our current ones look great by comparison. However, most likely we're going to see more rate heights throughout this year. On top of that, nothing indicates that rising mortgage rates will cause a home, home prices to tumble. The longer you wait to purchase, the more expensive it's gonna be. There are still plenty of opportunities in our market. If you have any questions about interest rates or purchasing a home, please contact me. I'm always willing to help. Thanks.